Should Gareth Southgate go? Is he the wrong man for the job? I am Richard and welcome to A Load of Cobblers. Um, I'm just going to get it out there straight away with. I'm not sure. Um, I'm on the fence with this and I'd love to know in the comments what you think if he should go or not. And I'd love to know the reasons behind it because for me, my, my, my obvious answer is yes. The talents in this squad is absolutely fantastic. And I think there's lots of other people out there that could do... Um, not a, this is this is where it's diff, difficult. Not necessarily a better job, but could play more attractive, stylish football. Um, I've always thought that uh, Chris Wilder, who's at Middlesbrough at the moment, took Sheffield to the Premier Premier League, would be a, a fantastic fit for um, the England coach. Um, I think the football he plays is exciting. Um, he's got a clear model and a clear strategy of how he plays and how he manages teams, um, and it would suit us as fans watching England play and go, actually, this is the identity that we play with. Um, I also think um, Graham Potter from Brighton would be another good manager as well. He would come in and look really good. Um, there's a few other you know, young English managers out there that would probably do a good job and play exciting football. That being said, the reason I say no is... <sighs> I've, I've been an England fan all my life and I've watched England for probably the last 26 years. I can't remember a time where England have ever played anything that was it was remotely exciting to watch. Um, the biggest game that I remember being exciting that I watched and thought, okay, this is quite lively was when we beat Germany 5-1. Now that was 20 plus years ago. Uh, um, that was a friendly and it was exciting because it was Germany and we always get thrashed by Germany. That was exciting. Um, now let's put let's speak some facts. Gareth Southgate is the second most successful England manager that we've ever had. Um, that's not meant to sound controversial. Name name me someone that's more successful. The, the, we've had better managers, in my opinion, but have we had statistically a better manager? Um, the answer is no. You know, he's, he took us to a Euro a Euros Cup final. Um, he's taken us to the semi-final and matched, you know, uh, the last, the last best uh, World Cup um, back in 1990. You can't argue with with um, the, the, what he's done. Now, if we'd have won that Euro Euros, um, it would be the same as what Klopp's just done in the domestic cups. You know, won on penalties. It wasn't very good, etc. But we'd all be buzzing off that. We'd all be talking about how you know this is amazing. Does that change the fact that it's boring football? No. Um, and people talk about the, the generational talent that we have at the moment, like how good um, the, the squad is. And, I, and this is, for me, one of the best squads um, that we have. Um, but we've also seen in my lifetime, you know, the class of 92 for the United guys coming in. And you also had your Lampard, your Gerrard, your Terry's. Um, you had, you know, David Seaman, his best old Campbell, Ledley King, all these players that were like top, top players. Um, but we couldn't get them playing for each other. And we've also had better managers. You know, Fabio Capello, before he got the job, was a better manager than Gareth Southgate. Um, Sven Goran Eriksson, Stephen Clown, they all had better resumes than what Gareth Southgate um, had. What, you know, I was underwhelmed when Gareth got the job. But they never did any better than what Gareth Southgate is doing. They, ne they never statistically got where, where he got. Um, the unity in the squad that Gareth has got is far better than any other manager that I can remember in my lifetime. And it's just cold, hard facts that, you know, he's getting this places. Now, do, at times, does he need to take the handbrake off and be more positive? I feel, I feel so, but what do I know? You know, having a B-Tech in sport doesn't make me capable to be an England manager. It means I can make a YouTube channel and talk about it, but for me... It's a difficult one. I can't decide. I can't decide. I'd love, to, I'd, I'd, like I said, I'd love to see someone like Chris Wilder have, have, have a go. It's too late in the day now. We need to stick with what we've got for the for the World Cup. We really do because what are we four or five months away? It's we're not we're not going to you know bring somebody in and create the identity. He's got the dressing room. He's brilliant with the media. I know that's not what we want. We do, we want exciting football, but maybe maybe I've got a short term memory loss. Maybe you can remember an exciting game of football. I know when we played in the World Cup, the Columbia match was exciting, but that's because there were foulers every five minutes and we thought we were getting penalties. And 
there's a few matches like that and you just think I can't remember who we who we absolutely thrashed in the World Cup now but it it was because they were a terrible team it wasn't because we were particularly fantastic um, so yeah I think if I if I've got to not sit on the fence I would go I'm, I'm leaning 60 to 65% that I'd want Gareth to go after the World Cup's out of the way with um, because what He's done such a good job, and I think actually, the longer he goes on now, the worse his legacy becomes, unless he wins the World Cup. But you know, England are boring at the moment, but is it any worse than Roy Hodgson? For me, absolutely not. You know, I just think of that Iceland game from the Euros, just thinking of pulling what was left of my hair out, and I'm thinking, this is a terrible, terrible sport it wasn't even a terrible game I just thought I don't like football anymore I just wanted to go home and cry you know I remember the England-Italy game uh, in 2012 when Roy was the manager just thinking this is boring this is terrible it's like I can't you know if, if I was trying to talk to an American about you know the difference between football and American football and saying you know this is an advert for it it was terrible so he's not that bad um, and for me, I don't care how we win as long as we do win. It's very easy to look back at the World Cup of '66 with rose tinted glasses, and you know, especially if you weren't born in that era, to say that that team was incredible. We'll never get anything as good as that, unless you've seen both. I don't think we, we, we could honestly judge that. So this is this is my first video going out. So make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button. Make sure you put the thumbs up to help me with the algorithm. Leave a comment below. I'd, I'd really love to know people's opinions to see if it's just me that's unsure on this one because it's hard to have a strong opinion with this when, when this is the most successful we've been. Um, it's an interesting it's an interesting topic, this one, and I don't know what... If, you, if you're going to get rid of Southgate, who are you going to go with? If you are going to get rid of him, is it before or after the World Cup? Questions, questions. I'm Richard. This is a load of cobblers, and I'll see you on the next one.